this is SSL Family Dad and today I'm going to take you along on some bell pepper tips and tricks and tell you a little bit about how well these have been doing for us here in the aquaponics system. This is uh, grow bed number two. This is the mostly bell pepper grow bed. Sweet peppers, bell peppers. Uh, there's a couple, there's two jalapenos in here also. But uh, we've had these ones in here for about six months, these uh, peppers. And then in grow bed number three, we've got our oldest set of uh, peppers, and those have been in there for over a year now but what I found is that they kind of go through cycles in here so this is the first time I've ever kind of grown something year-round um, and since bell poppers are kind of a hot weather crop they seem to to last well, I'm hoping they'll go at least a few years before they'll stop producing for us but they seem to kind of go through cycles so um, they just got done with kind of a fruiting cycle where you know we harvested about 35 maybe even more than that bell poppers out of here between the, the six plants um, and then they'll start to yellow and that's what I'm just trimming all these leaves off right now and they'll start to get uh, get all yellow and the leaves will start to kind of slowly fall off and in the same time that's happening they'll get this big burst of new growth and they've gone through this cycle about twice now and I'm not doing anything differently. I'm not adding any nutrients or changing anything with the lights. I've just kept everything steady just to kind of experiment with it. Um, and it looks like there's nutrient deficiencies. And, I, and again, my pH has only been correct now for about a, I guess it's been about a month. So I'll experiment more with nutrient stuff. I've got a lot of videos planned for nutrient deficiencies and uh, supplementations and things coming up. But... Um, but this seems to happen in the kind of cycles. So they were nice green leaves and everything was going great until they kind of stopped producing fruit and flowers and then these start to yellow up and fall off. But you get all this explosion of new growth. And uh, you'll notice on the other plant, I'll take you in close here, there's flowers starting to form again and they're gonna go through another phase of, uh, you know, of, of growth and produce a whole bunch more peppers for us. So um, these have been my favorite and I think all the family's favorite thing to grow in here. Um, they just, they're always producing for us and the bell poppers are so sweet. Um, all of my daughters, which are, you know, you know, probably pretty commonly picky about vegetables and things like that, um, they'll just literally eat them like apples. They're so good. Um, they're just, I mean, as soon, especially when they wait till they get all the way to their, you know, till they're red. Um, man, they are just, they are just sweet peppers. So, definitely recommend if you're doing, doing aquaponics, to give these a try. Um, they seemed to grow really well at my high pH, um, and it looks like they're doing even better as the pH came down. They seem to to grow faster and produce more fruit. So. Highly recommend these these bell peppers. We've got one back here. We've got one left, I think, out of the six plants. This is the last one. Now, obviously, the smaller plants here they're producing smaller bell peppers, but uh, the big plant produced some regular size, I guess you could say. But it hasn't been that bad. You know, they're not that uh, they're not that small. And this one's just starting to turn red, so just the best, though. So I'm hoping by trimming these leaves off that uh, this is going to kind of spur it to grow a little bit quicker. And see, he's got these new leaves in here. All these new new growth. You can see the shoots coming off everywhere. And I'll show you the other one. We've got some some flowers. 
Okay, so we're over in uh, grow bed number three. One over from where we just were. And doing a little bit of cleanup on these beans as well. Um, these beans have grown really, really good also, but uh, there's definitely some nutrient deficiencies going on with that pH. So now that I've got the pH corrected a little bit here, we'll see if some of those things get better. But back to our bell peppers. We have, uh, this is the oldest bell pepper. We have two of them. They've both been in here for over a year now since I planted them and they've grown in the aquaponic system the whole time. And these have been, this is the biggest one obviously, this has been the biggest producer. Um, but you can see, you can see here, uh, you know, the, the older leaves, these are the oldest growth, they're starting to die back. And then you get all these new, new growth in here and then here's the start of some new flowers. Now I just cut the last pepper off of this probably a couple days ago. Um, this thing had, I don't know, I think this one probably produced 12 peppers just on its own. But you've got these nice green leaves coming in and new sprouts coming off and branches extending and everything. So a whole nother set of new growth. And it seems to do this about twice a year. So, you know, I just kind of estimating what we're going to get as far as production goes off of these bell poppers alone. We'll probably get about 60 to 70 bell poppers per year out of the six plants that I have in here. That's that's probably a pretty fair estimate based on what we got, uh, you know, just with this last harvest and that the plants are just getting bigger. Now, I don't know if they'll decline and start to produce less. Um, I don't know if, uh, I don't know how many years they'll, they'll grow inside here. I've never, I've never had a continuously growing plant before. So, you know, we've always grown outdoors previous to the aquaponic system. And uh, here in Michigan, obviously we don't, Nothing lasts longer than one season. Uh, one of the reasons I chose to do bell peppers inside here is because they do take, they, they're slow growers and we don't get a real big production unless we start them in January inside in pots and then take them out and all that stuff. So these things have been perfect to me. They've been kind of a perfect addition for indoor growing. I like things that we can continually harvest from, and I like things that uh, don't grow as well outside. You know, those are the kind of kind of uh, fruits and vegetables that I'm looking to to do in the indoor, especially to make it more worth it. So, but I'll show you the update here. We'll do an update on after I prune all these back. Um, I'll check back in a couple days, maybe a week. And uh, I'm just kind of show you what kind of new growth we got going in here. All right, so it's been a week since I did all the trimming and clipping, and as you can see, these things just burst right back, and they're growing, growing very well. Um, full of little new flower shoots there, and on uh, just about every branch, and leaves coming out everywhere. Um, I misspoke earlier; these are banana peppers, not jalapeno peppers, and they're very tiny. And I may clip these little fruits off until the plant gets bigger um, but all of these have just sprung right back and um, they're very very uh, very healthy little plants so um, I, I really like having these ball puppers in here definitely my favorite uh, favorite thing to grow so far now the beans they're still producing but they just don't look good so I'm just not sure I may end up uh, switching these out um, switching these out with something something different but um, these peppers just pop right back and a lot of new growth and then the big one back here You know, we've got peppers starting to form uh, There's probably There's probably about 40 flowers on here right now on just this one plant now. They won't all They won't all turn into uh, to, to peppers they won't all pollinate But the stronger the plant gets in here and the larger it gets um, the more it will support and so it's just loaded with them in there but just thought I would do an update on these peppers um, I want to talk specifically about these because if you're looking at starting aquaponic system or you know just getting into it 
this is one of those things they are slow growing outside or in the aquaponics but um, you know these are, have been just our most solid producing plants they took a while to get going but once they're established in here I think that uh, I think they're gonna be our best and longest producers so of course as always I'll keep you guys updated on these and see how how long they last us and how well they produce year after year so uh, but as always, we appreciate you guys checking it out today. If you have comments or suggestions or questions, please throw those down below. And as always, I really appreciate that thumbs up. So reach down there and hit that thumbs up for me. It uh, makes a big difference for our videos. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to follow along. If you stick around for the end slide here after the video, uh, you'll have a chance to uh, click on any of our channels and subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.